Get excited guys, this is the newest indoor grow light for plants. Well, last summer I received a grow light from the Vipar Spectra company and they wanted me to test and review their grow light and so I did that and I made a video I'll put a link in the description below did all the readings the testing on it uh, in regard to heat power wattage usage all of it I was really impressed with the light. It had a lot of neat features on it, but there was one thing missing. Actually, there were a couple of things missing, and that was the quality of the components that went into that light. Anyway, they contacted me pretty quickly after I made that original video and asked if I wanted to try out their newest light that hadn't been put out there on the market yet. I told them no, and the reason I told them no back in the summer was because I wanted to actually test that light and do some growing with it and make sure it was the kind of light that I would want to use personally before I recommend it to you guys. Well, over the summer I had some vegetable growing projects going on that I didn't tell you guys about, and I was testing that light and it turned out it was absolutely spectacular. The performance was off the charts. So. I am more excited than ever. I contacted the company back and said, hey, I really like how this light performed. I would love to show off your newest light. And that's where the Vipar Spectra XS Series LED Grow Light comes into play. You guys wanna take a look at it? So far, I'm pretty impressed. This is just a beautiful light, guys. Check this thing out, man. It is just a solid constructed setup. This is by far one of my favorite LED grow lights on the market right now. So I brought both of them out here. So now we've got their original Pro Series grow light, the P2000 that they sent me through the summer. And that's the one that I did the testing on the vegetables and just grew outstanding vegetables in that little grow tent. And then this is the new one, the XS Series grow light. And I wanted to talk about these and do some comparisons here because there's some definite differences in the XS Series versus their Pro Series and some differences that really made me drool with this one. We're gonna talk about them all right now. So I'm telling you guys right now, I am not a salesman for this company, but if I was on a budget and my absolute passion was growing plants, which it is, this is the indoor grow light I would get. This is the company I would go with. And there are a lot of reasons for that, but the main one is I've used their light and loved the results of their light. I love the build quality. I love the dimming function. I love the components a hundred times more now with this new light. I love the functionality of this. There are no fans. There's no moving parts. It's all passive heat radiation. And more than anything, I love the results. Now, I wouldn't tell you guys this stuff just for the heck of it. They, my loyalty is to you guys, but I drooled over this light for a long time and it was hard to say no to them in the beginning, but I wanted to prove these lights out myself and I did. So let's dive into this. These are the upgrades that this company made that sold me 100% on this new XS series and it's the diode quality. These little guys right here, which are Samsung diodes and it's the driver quality the best driver on the market, the Meanwell driver. When they decided to upgrade those two things, I was sold. And the other thing that's different about this light than their Pro Series is it's the HLG Meanwell driver, which is a better driver. It will last longer and 
I'm just excited, guys. I can't wait to show this thing off. So there you go, guys. Just a little teaser about this light. Are we going to do anything in this video with it? Nah, not quite yet, because I've got more coming down the pipe for you. More things that I haven't been talking to you about that we are going to dive into in future videos. And in those future videos, it's going to become apparent why I'm even more excited about this light. And one of those reasons is because the last light was 200 watts. This one is 240 watts and it's going to be in a smaller grow tent but we'll get to that so i hope you guys enjoy seeing just a little glimpse of what old mike kincaid's up to lately and i hope you are as excited as i am to move forward because we're going to be doing some winter growing with this grow light in a grow tent that we're going to talk about on another video and we're going to be doing a video on this in regard to heat output par output wattage pull and anything else we can measure so stay tuned for that one and finally once everything comes together and all the little puzzle pieces arrive we're going to do a little grow series for you guys all about growing the carolina reaper so i know it was just a little teaser but i hope you guys are as excited as i am to get this little project started but we got to get all the pieces together they all got to get here first and then we will turn this light on don't worry i will turn the light on and show you what it looks like but I want to show everything to you in one shot. So in the meantime, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see those future updates, see the light getting turned on, see the par reading, see the temperature reading, see the wattage pull, see all that stuff and the growth series. Have a fantastic week guys and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.